right, guys, so I have it in hand. This is it, the brand new Creed Aventus Absolute. <sighs> Let's get into it. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Guy. If you're into Fashion and Fragrance, I think you're going to enjoy my content. So make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon as well. So that way, when I upload a new video, you're going to be one of the first people to get notified. All right, guys, so I did it. I have it in hand, the brand new Creed Aventus Absolute. Now, I did something a little bit different uh, with this fragrance because I pre-ordered it uh, with the rep down at Neiman's. And um, so we're going to get a chance to kind of see me do a little vlog style video uh, because I vlogged myself uh, going down to uh, South Park Mall there in Charlotte to uh, pick up the fragrance. So we're going to show the vlog first and then when we come back. I'm going to give you guys my um, impressions on this fragrance. So check out the vlog. I'm going to go ahead and run the intro. We're going to check out the vlog and then we're going to come back. And we're going to get into my first impressions of the brand new Aventus Absolute. So if you want to hear my thoughts, which I know you guys don't want to miss out on what I have to say about this fragrance, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. We'll be right back. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. So I'm in my closet. Um, I'm about to run to Neiman Marcus and pick up the new Creed Aventus Absolute. I think that's the name of it. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little vlog. Do it with the phone. Um, so it won't be quite the same quality as when I normally shoot with a camera. But, you know, let's work with it. All right. So... Got to pick out a scent of the day, so let's do that together, all right? All right, my scent of the day has been applied. It's time to head out. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm in the car. It's time to hit the road, all right? The missus was going to go with me, but she can't because she has to work. All right, so I'm going to be solo or dolo today. Can I survive out here in the wild? I don't know. But we'll find out in just a few minutes. It's time to hit the road. Let's go. All right, guys, so I have arrived at my destination. I'm going to go in through Nordstrom's. Oh, you probably can't see that. Going through Nordstrom's because I have to use the restroom, and I know where the restroom is. <laughs> but Neiman's is not too far from there, so I'm here. I'm about to go pick up my bottle of Aventus Absolute, and uh, let's get it.
All right, so I'm in Neiman's. I ran into some guys that send the fragrances. They follow the channel. What's up, fellas? All right, so what's your name, man? My name is Chris. Chris? Hold on. All right, so uh, what you came in for today? The, uh, Ashley was looking at the Creed uh, uh -huh. Absolute Aventus and the Creed Carmina. Okay, uh, so you follow the channel, right? Yes, sir. Right. So you don't pick up any of my recommendations? Um, some of them, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, are they? did they tell you that the Absolute was out of stock? They did, for right now. Shame. I'm going to tell you guys about it. It, right. it is. That's how you know it's that good, though. Exactly. Okay, yeah. so this, this is going to vlog. This is going to be on my channel. Yes, sir. Yes, All right, sir. so uh, fast real quick. Chris, what's your name, man? I go by Ron D. Ron D? Yes, sir. So what would you come in for today? I came in to get that Montal. Ooh, amazing. But I follow your channel a lot. And then we've been looking at the, the double attack with the mind games. Yes, sir. You put me on that, man. You, did you get it? I didn't you get it, but I smelled it. it. I smelled all it? the samples. It's real good. Very okay. good. That's what's up, man. I appreciate you following the channel, man. No problem, man. I appreciate you. All right. So we got here? Tim Yates. Tim? Tim, what you going to buy today? Man, you feel like you're about to buy something. Man, I else. come in here, well, <laughs> listening to you, man. I got the mind games, the Grandmaster. Okay. Amazing, bro. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Love it. You uh, We just kind of looking around, man. I, I okay. pretty much, I'm about like you, man. I got all that stuff up there. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got all that stuff up there. But yeah, we just kind of look around, man, hanging out, okay. enjoying time hey, together. Man, I appreciate you following channel. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always. Right. Who else you have? One more, right? Yeah. Tyrone. All right, let's see what we got here. All right. What's your name, Bob? Tyrone, sir. Right there, Mike, John, right? Okay. Tyrone, sir. Today, uh, came to look at mind games. Okay. But I'm hung up on the initio. No, okay. The, the well, side effects. Yeah, the side effects. Okay. Got to have that side effects. Can you follow effect. the channel? Absolutely. Okay. Every day. Did you learn anything? From yeah, too much. <laughs> too much. Which one? Which one was it? Might not want me to film that. <laughs> I wasn't blown away by the new part from the new one. The new out there is like it? not for me. It's okay. okay. I like some of the yeah, other perfume de Mali better. Like right. Mm -hmm. I like it, but I like some of the others better. It's good, but not great for me. Okay. That's all. Good deal, man. Well, yes, nice sir. to meet you guys. Nice Everybody to meet you. So yeah. this is gonna be live probably around Tuesday of this week. So y'all make sure y'all watch out. Oh, I'm sure I'll see it. All right. <laughs> so officially getting my bag of Aventus Absolute. Thank you, Monica. Thank you. Enjoy your beautiful bright. Yes, ma'am. So here we go. It's in the bag. The bag is secured. Oh, nice gift with purchase. There's a gift. And, uh, thank you. you. Take it home and share it with everyone. That is right. Monica, thank you very thank you. much. It's time Bye. to enjoy. Thank Appreciate you. you. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. So, you know, as you can see, I got a chance to go down. Uh, shout out to my rep, Monica, for uh, making sure that I had this pre-ordered. I, I heard that this was going to be uh, done in a very limited quantity. I don't know how limited that is, but I also heard from the event that I attended at Neiman Marcus, the Creed Masterclass, which was... You know, an absolutely great experience. Shout out to Luis. Um, I saw Luis back in the day on uh, the channel Street Sense. So if you guys don't know Al, make sure you go subscribe to Al's channel Street Sense. He's been doing this for a while. Very unique uh, content style that he has going out and about, hitting the streets of New York and getting people's opinions on fragrances. So uh, he's definitely an OG in the uh, fragrance uh, youtube fragrance reviewer space so make sure you subscribe to al's channel and i luis actually did the master class that my wife and i was able to attend uh down at neiman marcus i learned a lot about creed learned a lot about this new fragrance and like i said they said it's going to be given out or produced in a limited quantity and they'll never produce it again so there won't be all these different batch variations there's going to be one batch all right so uh that was interesting to find out but anyway the moment that we've all been waiting for Here's the bag. You guys saw me get it in the video. Got a nice little gift here. It's like a Creed little tra travel uh, wallet itemizer thing, which is really nice. And um, I got a whole bunch of samples and stuff in this bag. Packaged very nicely, but let's get into it. So here's the box. All right, so it is gonna remind you of the original Creed Aventus box, because it has the same black and looks like leather uh, wrapped around uh, the box there. It's a 75 ml, uh, 2.5 um, ounces, fluid ounces. 
And uh, when you remove the top, the fragrance rests in the base of the box like so. So to me, this is a beautiful kind of black lacquered finish on the bottle. And here it is. Let me get a good look at this. Check it out. Really like the presentation on this. Do I wish it was a 3.3 ounce? Of course. <laughs> More juice, but it is really nice. Now, I will tell you that the fragrance retails for 545 bucks. I'm not going to get into a whole uh, long, drawn-out conversation on here about whether or not there's value there, whether I think it's worth it. Look, that's up to uh, whomever the individual is that's consider considering buying this fragrance and what their budget <laughs> suggests is a good bargain to them or not. I will say because I do fragrance reviews, because I am a fan of the House of Creed, uh, because I'm a fan of the Aventus brand itself, um, and the fact that this is not going to be produced again, at least from what they said, to me it was worth a purchase. So that is for you know, again, each individual to decide. That's not what I'm going to debate about here. Is that expensive? Sure, you know, but it is what it is. I want it in my collection, so I have it. So here's the bottle. Now, let's go ahead and spray it, because I know that's what we all really want to get into. Let me grab a test strip. All right, guys, got my handy-dandy test strip right here. So let's give it a spray. I'll let you guys see the itemizer on this. All right, nice controlled miss. I'm gonna just gonna be straight out and tell you guys, I love this fragrance. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love this fragrance. Now, I've heard some people say that this fragrance reminds them of Sauvage Elixir. So let's go ahead and address that elephant in the room. Does it? Slightly. I mean, but I've said this so many times, guys, when you have certain notes in a fragrance, it may slightly remind you of something else. Obviously there's clones and all this stuff inspired by, this is not in a, a Sauvage Elixir inspired fragrance. The funny thing is when I first smelled this from just a small um, itemizer from a small sample that I had, it smelled a little bit different. I got more of those spices, the cinnamon cardamom spice combination that's in here. But when I have got my hands on the bottle, I get Creed Aventus. This stuff to me smells heavenly. To make it really short, imagine the original Creed Aventus with a little bit of spices, primarily cardamom and cinnamon. That's really what this is. <laughs> That's really what this is because most of the other notes that you had in the original Aventus are still present. This is how I like for a company to do an elixir, especially of a fragrance that I really love, like I love the original Creed Aventus DNA. It all is still present. You still have pineapple in here. They don't have birch here, which gave the original Vintage that smokiness, but they do have vetiver here. So the vetiver is kind of, you know, taking up the slack for where you had that birch because the vetiver in here is a little, comes off a little bit smoky in this fragrance. So although it doesn't have the, the birch there, it still has a somewhat smoky presence. But all the other main notes that you got from the original Aventus is here. The bergamot is here. The lemon, the pineapple is here. Uh, you still have that uh, strong presence. Like I said, that smoky presence, although it's coming from vetiver. So when you think about the original Creed Aventus, pretty much all the notes are still in here. Now, the only thing that's really missing uh, from that is going to be that apple note. You know, but other than that, it's, it's all still here, man. The ambergris, although it's now in Broxin, the oak moss black current it's all here it's all here so i love this fragrance again if you like creed aventus if you like of course aventus cologne you're going to love this fragrance again i know some people may not be a fan of the price point i'm not here to debate that particular point um i'm going to wear this of course so i can give you my take on how it performed on my skin it's actually going to be my scent of the day so I can give you a more full breakdown as far as, again, as performance and things of that nature. But do I love it? I love this fragrance. I think for some people, because some people are so big on performance, especially when a fragrance costs as much as this fragrance costs, they're going to be interested to know what the performance is like because a lot of people uh, ascribe value to performance. And I understand that. Okay, so I will come back and do a full review on this fragrance to give you guys uh, the performance and things of that nature, but my overall first impressions is I absolutely love it. 
in my humble opinion, for my personal situation, it was money well spent to have this in my collection. Look at the bottle, guys. I absolutely love it. I'm glad I have my bottle. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you already have sampled this yourself, if you put your nose on it, make sure you go ahead and drop a comment down in the comment section. I would love to hear you guys' opinion uh, on this fragrance. So what are your thoughts on the video? Let me know how you like it. Or whatever the case may be, I would love to hear from you down in the comment section. That's where we get out and get together and kind of have our little conversations. All right. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think can use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.